you are back on the Mountain Morning Show. So believe me, I thought very, very, very much about having jo my co-host Joe do this segment, but I thought I want to talk to you guys about this. I think it'll be uh, more enjoyable for us. So we have Ruby Jones uh, to my far right and Ashley Smith to my right. How are you ladies this morning? We're great. We're good. Yeah, thanks for having us on. Awesome. Well, you guys, I guess we kind of called you the founders of the Period Store. I am so thrilled to have you here this morning. It's a conversation that we need to, to hear a little bit more about, especially in this day and age where it is, what you've provided is so easily accessible to everyone around the world, not just you know women here in Park City or in Utah. So to begin with, where did this concept of the Period Store come from? So um, I studied in India for my undergrad, and, um, and it was there that I, I started seeing the different ways that women approach their periods because I was studying childless women, and I was talking to a lot of women about, about these really sensitive topics. Um, and then moved to New York City years later and met Ruby and we became friends and, and we were having a conversation once about all the products that exist for period management. Um, especially living in New York City, I think we were surrounded by these different cultures and seeing different ways that women, different products that women use and we thought there needs to be a place where women can like find all these products and talk about it and, um, and so that's when we kind of, after brainstorming and um, thinking about it and also with my husband. Yeah, so we would talk about, we first were talking about regular products that we used when we first got our period and then how we never really branched out away from that. Then we learned about menstrual cups and then Ashley told me she knew about sea sponges and I was like, what are sea sponges? Just all these reusable pads, so many products that we, I wasn't, I didn't know about and we talked about how most women don't necessarily know all the products that are out there for them. And so that's why we said we, we feel like there should be a place where women can get to know what all their options are and then be able to make a decision um, comfortably too. And yeah. we also, since she studied in India, we talked about, we wondered what women did with their periods 50 years ago, 100 years ago, 500 years ago. And so we wished we could have some sort of museum-like place where we could <laughs> like curate all of this information. Oh, so that's how that works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then Ruby's lived in Paris too, and so that's been, I mean, just different cultures approach it in such different ways, and and we have the internet now, and we can talk about those things, and so, I mean, it, it just makes it so much easier, mm -hmm. so we thought it was a no-brainer. Um, and also to do it in internet, as an internet store, because that way, periods are kind of a subject women aren't necessarily so comfortable to talk about and so the internet gives us an opportunity to be able to talk about it anonymously if we want to or in a kind of safe setting mm -hmm. it, within our own website. We have a blog called The Periodical and we talk about all sorts of period management things and women's health issues and um, yeah we just want to open up the conversation so women can Talk about everything that yeah. when we launched has to do with periods. Yeah. <laughs> when we launched the store, we actually, um, so there's a video that's on our homepage. Uh, and we, we went around New York City asking women about their periods um, because we wanted to just, you know, hear from women in New York City. Our goal is to eventually do this in a lot of different wow. cities. Um, okay. But we started in New York City and we just went around asking random women um, how they deal with their periods and um, what products they use. And, and we were so nervous because we were like, is anyone going to agree? I was agree? Just yeah. thinking of that. Like, <laughs> it, how do they respond yeah. to you ladies? We're like, yeah. uh, are you serious well, or are they really open yeah, about it? It's funny because like we don't talk about it. I don't mm -hmm. think women, it's a very like private thing. You go in the bathroom, you take care of it, and you don't really talk about it. And you don't um, think about it again until yeah, it comes back. You kind of like want to forget it. Um, <laughs> but then but then once you get women talking about it, we just w want to talk about it more. And we get, you know, we, we get really excited about talking about <laughs> Which these Which is products. funny, but it kind of yeah. works that way. Yeah, yeah, I mean, love it or hate it. Like, a lot of, you know, we all deal with periods. We all have to buy these products. And so mm -hmm. um, being able to have a place where you know all of your options. Um, we, we also, so we carry a lot of, like, alternative, um, eco-friendly brands. We just introduced this brand um, this week, Organic. Um, they're really great because they're one of they're one of the only brands that is 100% organic cotton. Mm -hmm. um, most women don't understand that the product the that there are chemicals that their um, tampons or pads are made out of synthetic materials. Um, 
and this is like one of the most absorbent parts of your body that we're talking about and mm -hmm. so um, I think for women to be aware of, of what they're using is really important but but like Ruby said we just we're used to just going to the store and buying you mm -hmm. know whatever whatever our moms told us to buy and um, we don't think about it so yeah, and so, so talk about this too. yeah, so to tell you a little bit about how it works right now, the periodstore.com is a subscription-based service. So, so we want to introduce women to all these products that exist, and we thought that it made sense to make it a subscription, um, where there's the convenience of having it delivered to you right mm -hmm. before your period. When you um, say having it delivered to you, this is pretty cool. Yeah. It's not just stuff like this. Yeah, which is yeah. what I love. Let's get a rundown of some of those yeah. items. So. So what you do is you go on our site and you go to shop and um, you pick out whatever you want to use. I use like what I've used for years. So mine is like Tampax products and um, I pick out that and maybe some panty liners and so I'll get that in the mail along with the little treat package, which is what you've got in your hands right now. And you guys are so nice. You provided this uh, to our women Sundance gift bags, all the women <laughs> that came through. So myself included, we all got one of these. And this is kind of fun. So this is like a mini version of maybe what you can yeah. expect to get from yeah. those so bags. So you get this along with whatever feminine hygiene products you'd mm -hmm. like. Yeah. So tell so us about have, some of the stuff. So we have art that's included. It's kind um, of fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love it. Art is, I mean, art is like a great medium for uh -huh. talking about things. And so we have, we work with these uh, up and coming artists um, and they create artwork having to do with womanhood. And so we send really that fun. in the packages. Yeah, I like it. Like kind of brighten your thing. day, make you yeah. think of something else. Yeah. Box so Intimates is one of our really good bands. Yeah. You have mini chocolate bars. Yeah. I think that'll be yeah. first on my we list. We partner with a different like gourmet sweet maker every Every month too, so it changes every cycle. Yeah. Um, so Move one tea. month we had the awesome um, orange agogo chocolate mm -hmm. with Chuao, and then we also had like in the summer months, women love chocolate during their periods. In the summer months, chocolate melts, so we send them like hard candy or just. But it's always gourmet, really yeah. well-made chocolate, and yeah. also tea. Yeah. yeah, got that right here. Egyptian licorice flavor is what we got going on. Well, ladies, yeah. I want to share uh, the clip that you were talking about, that you talked with women mm -hmm. around New York, and I think this is really insightful, so we're going to go to that right now, so you guys have a, have a listen uh, to what other ladies have to say about it. So you know when it's going to come, so you can kind of prepare yourself in that way. But 
I think a lot of it is just having everything you need on hand, whether it's having supplies you need, whether it's tampons or whatever, having the medicine you need, and also having a lot of chocolate. Mm -hmm. I think it always helps, chocolate and ice cream. I think that's the beautiful thing about having a period, just to know that you're a woman. All right, well, you heard it from uh, all those ladies themselves. I'm sure we can all relate in some way, and that's why I love what you guys have done. You've started that conversation, and not just a local one, like we said, an international one. I want to remind people one more time of some other fun products available online. We mentioned some of the basics here, but there's some other options, too. Yeah, so we, we also carry accessories. Um, we're, we're always adding new products. Like every every month, we eventually want to carry every useful product that's Well, available. like with the original idea, First of all, we brainstormed about this like four years ago, then would like imagine this shop where we could have chocolate, what else, um, just like books, anything yeah, feel good. imaginable. Yeah, just things you love. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so um, then we only worked on the period store when we were on our period. We would forget <laughs> about remember. it. That's and when you remember, like, oh my hey, God. we need to start <laughs> yeah. this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but we also carry accessories. Like, I mean, we carry, we have like canvas, totes, so, so things that are just fun. Mm -hmm. Um, to heat, go with the flow, heat, heat ladies. therapy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we have yeah. heat therapy. Um, what else? We have, we like have necklaces from artists that, oh, uh, that. that are working on like feminine issues. Um, mm -hmm. and we candy. also candy. Yeah, candy. yeah we can't forget candy. that. We have, <laughs> we have a tote bag that we partnered with Girl Rising, which is an organization that helps girls promote and work on girls' education around the world. And um, so proceeds from that go to this organization. Yeah, so incredible. we really want to help with girl women issues and girls' around issues the around yeah. the world. And that's an important part too. A lot of the products that we have are like buy one um, and they'll donate a pad in Africa or something. So we try to we try to really curate what goes into the shop so that it you can you can make smart choices and also help other women. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's spectacular. So one another reminder online you're at yeah theperiodstore.com. Pretty simple. <laughs> there oh, you have yeah. it. Yeah, well, Ruby, yeah. Ashley, thank you so much for joining us this morning and uh, initiating that conversation. I know many women out there are very happy to hear this. So <laughs> congratulations on your work with the store, and I wish you a great success. Thank, thank you so, so much. Thank you very much. We'll be right back after this quick commercial break when we do a movie review from the film Happy Christmas. That's up next.